Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate sorcerer's guide. I'm currently in New Game Plus. Let's get Ash and Knight Boyd out here. And let's take on the Duke's Dare Freya. This is either gonna go really well or horribly wrong. Um, she can probably one-shot me. So that's the main thing that I'll have to watch out for. But hopefully everything is gonna be just fine and dandy. I don't know. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this. Gonna take out as many spiders as I can. Hopefully Boyd can handle. No, he cannot. Don't know why I used that spell out of all of them. That's gonna be... No, 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 no. Shit, that was way too close. Alright. Boyd is gonna die so quickly. Seriously? I couldn't even hit her. Oh shit, this is gonna take a while. Alright, watch out. Okay. And we got all the little spiders. That's good. Alright, watch out for that attack. See I Oh shit, that was that was actually pretty awesome. That was probably one of the best blocks I've ever done. Alright, Boyd is dead. So pretty much, the only thing I managed to do was make the boss fight harder for myself. I thought he would be a little bit more help, but I guess not. Come on, there's no reason I cannot do this. Let's get a great soul arrow out here and start shooting. Yes, boy, it heal right in front of its face. That's real smart. Okay, my spells are doing jack shit. You know what? I'll get the soul spears out. Just wanna make sure they actually connect. Alright, that was good. Maybe this isn't so bad. Oh shit, okay, yeah. Better stay far away. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well actually, a lot better than I thought. I thought this thing would take at least two or three tries, but... You know what, we might... actually have a chance here. Oh shit, watch out. Okay, no, 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 get out. Get out. Alright. Hey, little spider. Is he gonna laser? No, he's not. Shit. No, no, no. I'm not gonna let the little spiders kill me. Oh, shit. This is tense as hell. No, fuck. Okay, one head is down. Ah, no, no, no. Get out. Shit, sorry if I'm not making too much sense. I'm actually really focusing. Okay. This is gonna be good. Some damage in here. Oh, shit. The head is dead. How the hell am I going to attack it then? That's a good question. Heal up. Boyd is actually surviving pretty well. He lost like most of his HP in the first few minutes. But since then, he's been surviving pretty well. No, 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 no. This is not gonna kill me. Get out. Alright, just wasted three SS flasks. Don't even care. Yes! Holy shit! And Boyd survived. Well, thanks Boyd. He did actually very well. Okay, so we get the soul of the Duke's Dare Freya again. But we also get the old Pale Drake's soul. 
and if we have a look at it old pale drake there it is this one's magnificent magnificent soul continues to exert influence over the land even after the aeons have reduced it to these remnants so yeah it's it basically refers to uh seath it's seath soul old pale drake obviously oh, and this guy is back too okay Damn it. Wanna parry him like last time, but you know what? No, no, no. No, they got killed by the Duke. This is like the easiest enemy in the game. Alright, he's dead. And we got another fragrant branch of Yore. So actually, we now have an extra. And it's the. Yep, Vanguard is still here too. Which I'm not exactly happy about. Why did I use that spell? I don't know. But it actually did okay. Really don't want to be hit by him. Okay. Come on. Get another copy of his set too. What's gonna happen? What? <laughs> 16,000 souls for that? Wow. Alright, obviously my souls are... I have a lot of souls. Holy shit, I cannot believe I actually did it on the first try. But that's New Game Plus. At least the Dukes there fray are in New Game Plus. Honestly, that Rat Phantom I fought in the previous episode was a lot harder than that. Alright. Now I think we have to take the Pale Drake's soul to Ornifex. Either Ornifex or Strayed. And we're gonna get a nice little item from all of that. Okay, what else should I do here besides level up? Okay, yeah, let's level up. Going to get... Hmm... Get... Don't really know. Guess I'll go with a bit of endurance, bit of vitality. Get adaptability and... You know what, maybe we don't need... Hmm. This is kind of... I think this should be good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright. Also gonna pay a visit, like I said, to Orn... I think it's Ornifex, I'm pretty sure. Also, by the way, since I did use the, F the Ascetic here, I could go ahead and pick up the uh, Essence Flask shards that are around here. And... You know what? It's like whatever. Don't really need it. Really, by the time you have 10 SS flasks, you have more than enough to get through the game. Don't really need more than that usually. I also still have a fucking sublime bone dust that I need to burn. I'm gonna do that right now once I get back. Oh shit, that was not a good dodge at all. I would like to... Fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. Have like a stupid death after a really good run. Should have just ignored these fucking spiders. Ah well, I'll just get my soul and get out of here. Probably at the end of this last episode, or this episode, I'm gonna maybe try and do some more PvP in the bell tower. Because now that I've, have, I've increased my level, I think I can get matches easier. I think that was the problem the first time I tried, my level was too low. So it was like, not many players are at that level. Hey, Orn effects. Okay, we are going to trade and get the good old Moonlight Greatsword. You can also get Lost Siren Sword, Nothing, none of these are magical. But yeah, that's the Moonlight Greatsword. I probably screwed up because it needs 18 decks. I thought it was only 16, but it doesn't matter. I'll be able to show it off in a little while. 
Dang, I really thought it only needed 16 decks, not 18. Oh well. Fuck these spiders. These spiders are really annoying. Just because they attack so quickly. Alright, let's have a look at this. Where are you? This is one of the most used weapons in the game, I think. I see it quite a lot within builds. This is the Moonlight Greatsword. Pretty much functions... Oh, because I don't have the stats for it. Pretty much functions. It only does magical damage, as you can see. But it's almost the exact same thing as the Moonlight Greatsword in Dark Souls 1. So really no surprises there. It's a pretty good weapon. It was a good weapon in Dark Souls 1. It's most likely a very good weapon here too. So yeah, that's that. Like I said, I'm going to try getting the dex requirement. I can wield it two-handed, I think. Nine strength should be enough to wield it two-handed. But we'll see. I'll prob I might use it. The thing is I'm really like liking this rapier. And honestly... I'm not a huge fan of the s the large swords, the moveset of the great swords, and unfortunately the Moonlight Great Sword has that moveset. But you know, still I'll show it off. What we're also going to do now is get good old fall control in here and head down, head down to the Grave of Saints. I think I should have enough time. Luckily, we don't need to. Use the ladder. Or, but actually, you know what? We do need the ladder, don't we? We need the ladder because it leads to a treasure. Or it's gonna lead to a treasure. Yeah, let's get 12,000. Luckily, I have the souls for it. Okay. I was gonna do that. Ladder is all set up. Like I said, this is gonna lead a payoff later. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to like leave you like that. Okay, fall control. Luckily it has tank casting, so that's more than enough really. Very good. And I think it pro might provide more protection than the uh even the ring. Just have to be careful here not to screw up. Okay, good. Very good. So does it remove all fall damage? Because that's really handy if it does. Alright. Grave of Saints. I might get summoned here, but should be able to handle anything that comes my way. Don't need fall, fall control anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Soul Vortex back. I'm really liking this Soul Vortex thing. I think it's gonna be especially good in PvP because it can really throw people off. Because it's kind of unusual the way it... The way it works and looks. I'm gonna kill these guys just to be on the safe side. There's a hex that's similar to Soul Vortex and how it works. But, yep, I'm being summoned. Okay. Oh well, this is fun. I like PvP like this. Or in this area. Plus, of course, even if I lose, nothing happens. But if the other guy dies, well, things are not going to be that good for him. Even though this area kind of lends itself to unfair PvP, still, if I do end up winning, it's really satisfying. Plus, they kind of balance it out by... Um, because you technically don't lose anything. I'm gonna heal up and top myself off. Okay. No rats? That's weird. Huh. Okay. I guess no rats then. There's the toxic thing. Toxic water. Huh, there's like no... Oh, there you are. I know he's a hexer. Alright. We can work with that. 
We can definitely work with that. Is he wearing the same armor that I am? Okay, he has the... What you call it? Is he gonna heal up? Probably, yeah. Yeah, he did. No problem. No problem at all. And you're done. I don't have the decapitate thing. Oh well. See you later. Yeah, you'll quickly find that the rapier... Oh shit, I just walked in that. Ah, whatever. I don't think it's gonna matter. The rapier is very good in PvP. You'll quickly find. Mainly because of that, it has really good stun locking ability. So you can rack shit pretty easily. Plus it attacks so quickly that most people don't have time to like react once you start hitting them. Sup, rat? Okay, fuck you. Fuck. It seems like this armor has pretty good like stat resistances. Like even against, even against petrification, it protects very well. Which is good. It's always good. Okay, let's... I could use Soul Spear. Soul Vortex. Okay, maybe not, because this casting time is pretty lengthy, so I want to get myself killed with some stupid, like, experimentation with the spells. Hey, Repair Powder. That's handy. So I guess you could farm Repair Powder from these guys. Huh. Although you don't want to farm here, really, because cause of PvP. Alright. Someone, this is... This always happens when I go into the Grave of Saints. I get summoned once, and then that's it. Never again. And I don't know why. I don't mind being summoned. You know what? Let's see if we can... Give them my nice little surprise. Okay, maybe not. That kind of worked out better in my head than it actually did in real life. Ah, well. I think if you use that Ferrous's Lockstone, you go over there, you can get a Hex. Yeah, there's definitely a Hex there. Okay, rest up. This is going to repair my equipment anyways. And we are going to take out the... Whatever the name of this boss is. Royal Rat Vanguard, I think. Yeah. Pretty easy, actually. There you are. Rats. So you just have to start killing them. Okay. That was... Took a bit more damage than I would have liked. But shouldn't be... Too much trouble to survive. Luckily, keep one-shotting everything. And I think there's a way to tell which one is the authority, or the vanguard, or whatever his name is. Shit. No! Wait, what killed me? Oh, it was... that's him. He deals more damage, doesn't he? Ah, shit. Well, this is embarrassing, dying to this boss. Although, I was just reminded that I still have the fucking cling ring on don't I and the Leo ring is currently not equipped I think oh no I do have the Leo ring I don't have the ring of blades yeah you know what I think we can stay like this for now or should I use hmm can I manage with this much HP? I think I can. The lingering dragon crestering is very helpful. Let me tell you that. Okay, let's get going here. Try this again, because that was bad. 
in my st stupidity that got myself killed. It's funny how I think. It's funny how I can one shot them sometimes, but not other times. Yeah, fuck. This spell actually does something here. Uh, wow, there's a lot of these guys. Wonder if I can get a good old soul spear in here somehow. Yeah, soul spear does hit multiple enemies. So, fucking lock on is really a problem sometimes. Because it so somehow it kind of like sometimes it locks onto the enemies in the back. Okay, where is the vanguard? There you are. No! <sighs> yeah, this is not going as well as it should. Where is he? God damn! Stop locking on! Good. Soul Vortex. And another Soul Vortex. And I'm out of Soul Vortexes. Come on, I can make it here. Lock onto him. Good. Fuck, that was harder than I thought it would be. Or it should have been. Oh well, he's dead. I'm gonna just sit down here and recover. Alright. So that was that. Royal Rat Vanguard. Funny how it gave me more trouble than Freya did in New Game Plus. But yeah. I'm gonna end it here. I think I got quite a lot of shit done in this episode. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go back to the best chill and do some great um Bellkeeper's PvP. And you know what? I'll be back in the next episode. Hopefully with Hidden Weapon. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.